uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, be earthlings, hope you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it. So welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushkin. Today we're going to be talking about this wee little beastie, the barrel M762. You can see it in my loadout at the bottom of the screen there. It's an awesome weapon. It's a weapon that for the longest time has been my go-to uh, in terms of PUBG mobile gameplay. And that's possibly going to change with update 1.5 ignition mode because as you saw if you watched the AKM video yesterday, there's, some been, there's been massive changes. They unified the rate of fire. So previously we had different rates of fire for 60 frames per second and 90 frames per second. And that was the little, little niche that the barrel made oh so incredibly popular. And it was a wallet warrior win. If you paid more money and you had a device that could run 90 frames per second, you got a gun in the M762 that performed much, much better than it did at 60. And in fact, it performed so well that I ran it every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Uh, to give you some kind of idea, at 90 frames per second, the time to kill of the M762 was 0.255 seconds. Okay, that is very, very good. That is the kind of great weapon rate of fire and, and time to kill that we get. And in fact, at 90 frames per second, the barrel was better than the Graza, uh, which is kind of nutty when you think about it. At 60 frames per second, though, it was 0.288 seconds, which is still very good, but there are now, after the unifying rate of fire, a lot of weapons that can fire at sub 0.300 seconds time to kill, namely like the UMP and the AKM and uh, the Vector and pretty much every SMG is better than this now. But I love the barrel. <laughs> I can't help it. I absolutely adore the barrel. Now of those two numbers that I just showed you on the screen, guess which one is the new number? Of course, it's the 0.288 um, time to kill. And that's, to be honest, I applaud PUBG Mobile because although this is a nerf to the barrel, if you're using a 90 frames per second, oh, and how about that headshot, baby? <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. Uh, it is, in fact, fair. And game balance is incredibly important to me, more so than bling, sparkles, diamonds, your vajazzling. I love game balance more than anything. I don't need skins. I want game balance. Because I believe that PUBG Mobile is an incredible game and I want there to be niches and reasons for using certain weapons. And with 90 frames per second, that was probably an unfair thing. But there's no probable about it. It was an, an unfair thing. However, why would you use the barrel now over, say, an SMG? That, that is the real question. And I'm going to answer that for you with the reason... You'd use the barrel over the SMG is that bullet speed is the most underrated stat in PUBG Mobile. If you have a 0.288 second versus a 0.2 second, 0.26 second time to kill, and this is going to be a little bit numbery, so just let me explain this to you. And one of you has a bullet speed of 365 meters per second, and the other one has a bullet speed of 700 meters a second. Then if the target is 50 meters away, even though it takes a little longer to kill a level two vest if they're at zero meters, at 50 meters, suddenly the barrel is better. And that's the reason why the M416 still sits people down in CQC, not CQC, sorry, like 50 meter range combat when you've got, say, an AK versus an M4. Because the bullet gets there faster. And the bullet that gets there first is the bullet that wins. If you're knocked in PUBG Mobile or you're killed, you're the bullets that you have in the air, they disappear. So it's really, really important to, to realize that the barrel is still very, very much a gun that will work in this meta. And to be honest, I just win more when I'm running this gun. I, I'm used to it now, and I've set up everything about my play style to work with the barrel. So I'm going to have a struggle. And I've been trying to play the UMP, and I just, I don't like more on that later. There is another video coming on that, and it might be an unpopular opinion. We're going to certainly talk about it. The base round on the barrel is 45.9. Now, that's a whopping big round for an AR. It's not as much as a, an AK or a Graza or a DP-28, but it is a whopping big round. Um, and it's the kind of round that means you get some big damage headshots, like 
that. I mean, you saw that coming through that door, smash into the head with the first round. And remember, all, all bullets start at zero. So you might have the faster firing weapon, but if the zero weapon, if the zero shot is into the head, it doesn't matter, right? Anyway, where was I? This is the only 7.62 AR you can mount a lower rail attachment on. And some of us love 7.62 ARs. The reason I love them is that big dose of alpha. I play on 100 milliseconds worth of ping. I play against a lot of guys who are on 20 milliseconds ping. And it's a hard thing to beat them in, in gunfights, especially when they're skilled players. And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of really good players now on the servers. Um, people have, have really, there's millions and millions of players. So, I mean, you might be a good player, but being in the top 10% doesn't necessarily mean jack in a game like this. There's so many engagements. You've got to win one engagement after another after another to, to get through to the end. And if you've got a good lobby, that's a very hard thing to do. So you need every advantage you can get. And being able to have a higher dose of alpha is important. Having a gun that will that will headshot people harder than, uh, you know, an M416 is important. It also means that because it's more versatile, you can run an M24 or a Car 98K. And for me, that's important because I enjoy sniping in PUBG Mobile just about more than I do uh, anything else you can do standing up, apart from, obviously, a knee trembler. This is the reason why the barrel has been the gun I've run instead of the AK for so long. The barrel just has a, a longer range. Like, that kind of a spray there, that mid-range kind of a spray where you have to keep the gun down is possible with the barrel, not so much with the AK. Wow, that he nearly got me there. That was, I'm not going to lie, that was a surprise. I thought I had that guy covered going east and west, but no, he nearly picked me up. Good play, that man. I'm interested to see if they adjust these guns at all, especially the M762 and the AK. The they're nearly indivisible now. If you were running CQC only and you wanted just one weapon, then you know the AK is probably a better gun for you in the in the 10 meter range than the barrel M762 because it literally has a harder hitting shell, and that's what you want in CQC. If you're running a gun on a map like Miramar, though. It's hard for me to make a case for the AK. And I'm an obstinate old grub. I find the M416 to be a boring weapon. I'm sorry, but I just find it to be a boring weapon. I find the meta of the M416 to be a boring meta. I know how to do it. I've done it. I've won plenty of games using it. But spraying at range is something that I find... Bleh. It's, it's, it's just like being able to full auto spray a weapon at 150 meters without even trying because yeah, it's, it, it just makes me be a little bit sick in the back of my mouth. I wish that they do something. I was actually, no one's talked about this and maybe I will talk about it. Um, the M416 got nerfed in this patch. I mean, that's that's a video that I need to make, but it got nerfed in this patch. It's It's been unified down to a rate of fire that is not nearly as good as it was previously. Uh, it used to have a 0 0.085 second time for one round, and that's now 0 0.094, same as the barrel. Uh, and that's that means that your rate of fire and your time to kill is 0.376 now, whereas before it was down to 0.34. So it did get nerfed, and it means that I guess it's the difference between the M4 and the barrel is is still significant, and there is a reason for running this. It's not as good as an M4 at all it's in terms of spraying. And it's look, if I'm honest, it's the M4 is is broken. It's the it's such a good weapon because versatility and bullet speed is underrated in this game. And the barrel M762 offers you a little bit of it in terms of it has incredible damage, but it also has really decent bullet speed. Whereas the M4 just goes mediocre damage. 40 isn't special, like 40.9. The UMP beats that. The uh, Tommy gun beats that. The AK, the Grizza, the Barrel, the DP-28. Um, all these guns beat that. But 900 meters a second 
is a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of bullet speed to have and to be able to deliver 40 rounds in full auto. Like, I mean, look at that. That's, I don't mind learning to spray with a red dot on a barrel is all about it, right? That's, that's life. Doing that on an AM4, I'm not that impressed. Anyway, I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I tailed off a bit there at the end. I think the barrel is still absolutely legit. And I have a feeling that there'll be more of them for me to pick up because other people won't want them. That's cool. I'm okay with keeping the barrel. You have whatever the hell you want. There will be a UMP video coming very soon, an MG3 video, lots of stuff. So remember to subscribe to the channel, like the videos. I'm giving away some Royal Passes. More on that later. Uh, until next time, bye for now. Stay safe at the battlefield. Eat your veg. Be nice to your mum.